Now, despite the recent winds and cold weather, it still looks like fall outside. The leaves are on the ground and still some on the trees. As Eric Nelson reports, it is a critical time, though, for people to make sure they dispose of leaves properly. As soon as we get those freezing temperatures, it becomes this nasty little matrix of leaves and mud and ice, and it can be problematic going forward for the city crews. Late October feels more like late November in the northwest suburbs, but don't hunker down just yet. The message from local cities is to get your leaves and debris picked up or mulched as soon as possible. A great uh, resource for lawn nutrition is the leaves and they can be mulched and left on the, on the ground. They could be collected and composted in the yard and, and turned into topsoil for later use. Another option is to bring debris to a local yard waste location. The Maple Grove site is always busy this time of year. Whatever you do, don't let the leaves clog up storm drains on your street. When we get some sort of rain or snow melt, the water can't get into the catch basin. The street will flood. So what happens when leaves and debris go into a catch basin and end up in a stream, a pond, or a lake? Well, it causes algae, which is not a good thing. Green is good for lawns, but not for ponds. When drains gum up, it can have a domino effect. You think about all of the, the damage that it causes to all of the lakes and the streams and eventually all the way down, um, it's, it's not good. Patty Neville is a volunteer for the city of Plymouth. On a weekly basis, she cleans up area storm drains and neighborhood parks. It's a good feeling and know that, you know, we're trying to take care of our earth as long as we're yeah. on it. We have a number of volunteers, right, that'll keep a catch basin clean or that, uh, quote, adopt a catch basin type work. For Neville, this is draining work in a good way a true labor of love. It's really a big thing from an environmental standpoint. I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News.